Yeah, Hot 97, blazing it, popping hey, on, baby. Funk, Flex, Nas. Yes, sir. Queens is in the building. You oh, absolutely. Still mad at yeah. New York is in the building. Album in the store right now. Queens in the house. South Jamaica, 40, Baisley, Corona, Flushing, Queensbridge, Astoria Projects, Woodside Projects, the whole Q Burrow. I want to ask you, I listened to the song Destroy and Rebuild. Yes, sir. And which is also a very clever record, mind you, because what I like is the way you jump in and out of the subject matter and then you kind of bring it at the end. At the end, you, you bring it together. As well as also the Slick Rick feel is, is very Shout out to Slick Rick, the real ruler. Yeah, man. Um, that record was important because, you know, dudes was coming at me sideways, man, and I got love for nature. I got love for um, Prodigy. Definitely, but he just had too many dudes around him would be coming up to me like, yo, I don't mess with Prodigy no more. I laid it for him, blah, 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 blah. But then being in his face and he's treating them like kings, you feel what I'm saying? I'm talking about like 20 different dudes, man. Mm. And I just said, yo, yo, P, man, you know? And P, I mean, I always felt like, you know, I mean, it's a deep story with P, man, because that's my little brother, man. And he's like, when he, um, I heard a K Slay tape. Shout out to K Slay. I love you, dog, because you keep it gully. That's why. Enough. Love you, dog. Hey, yo, check it out. He was on a case late tape with this little dude. And the little dude was trying to make a name for himself, talking about me, you know? Okay. Little stink breath dude, man. And um, and, and and Prodigy was on a record with him. So that's co-signing. I see what you're saying. You so, see what I'm saying? And, and so, so you say not, he, he didn't directly say something, but he knew what was going on. Right, and he's also on a, 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 a Mad Rapper Mega record. And I got love for Mega. I wish he would come back to being my boy when we used to be on a block all night. Bugging out, laughing, having a good time when we didn't know what, what a, nothing about no hip hop except for the kings like Rakim and Kane. When, 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 just to think of Hot 97 Nas, when Prodigy was up here on and off the mic, he talked very highly of you. Yo, I got nothing but love for um, Prodigy. I love the album, Mob Deep. Havoc's my man. He called me up like, yo, son, I know you ain't. Yo, son, what's up? I was like, yo, Hav, I got nothing but love for y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? It's just that we need to be clear. If we're going to keep it real, let's keep it a thousand percent real. You can't get on a song saying greasy things. You can't be in a magazine, very disgusting, talking about me when, not Ma, Ma but Mega. And when he came home, dog came home from jail, man. Mm -hmm. I had a record deal waiting for him. Because he didn't blow up, I didn't care. I was riding with him forever because I knew, I, I felt he had talent. I was okay. riding with him. He took it in his hands to feel like you know i don't know you know with this with this fame and stuff it gets people crazy and sometimes they think if they don't blow up overnight it's my fault I'm and sure. you know they were talking greasy about me and it was really really disgusting and really really feminine the way i was being talked about by other so-called men it's not right so i felt like I now, can't Cormega ignore it no in the more. Firm, correct? Exactly. I, Cormega came out of jail, ladies and gentlemen, the to the firm, to a lot of things. But his ego was big, bigger than his talent. Okay. And unfortunately, he brought his ego everywhere he went. He got around Foxy, poisoned her mind. Got around AZ. He didn't want nobody to be my friend. He was like a brother of mine. That's like, I don't want nobody to be Nas' friend. I'm, I'm his friend. Don't listen to no... You know what I'm saying? And, and, and me and Mega come from the same block, man. We come from running on 42nd Street, 50 deep. We come from the block when we ranking with his cousin Karinga on the block. I love that dude, man. You know what I'm saying? And I heard he's mad about what I said, but he know it's real. Did you hear uh, on, on the new... <clears throat> No, I, I heard about he made a record, but I mean, I'm not here to go back and forth with nobody. Okay. This is the last album I mentioned in the rapper's name, period. And I just had to be real. It's time to destroy the mentality what makes our hood weak and, uh, I, and time uh, to rebuild it Hot 97, with Nas. realism. Nas, I didn't, I didn't know until I heard the record because you, you mentioned nature and I, and I never knew there was even a situation with me. Same but, thing. Nature like came that. home from jail from snatching a pocketbook from an old lady or something. Just straight up. But I dog, you know what I'm saying? Who, and dog you, came he was home. also in the firm, correct? Exactly. And he got in a beef with Mega and Mega snuffed him out. And um, he started telling Mega, Nas told me to go at you. 
You know what I'm saying? And I, I said, be a man. You know, be a man. If you're going to diss Meg on a record and he go at you, dog. I mean, nature was never in the streets. You know what I'm saying? He was like the guy walking the alley blocks following old ladies home. <laughs> nah, nah, for real. You know that guy in the hood, though, that like always grew up in the hood that nobody know? And then, into, nah, for real. Like, you know, and then all of a sudden he do something special and then the whole projects know, like, who's that? Oh, for real him? That's who nature hey, yo, was. Like, you know, bro, but nature came to me. He's a very intelligent brother. Yeah, he and he got talent. Getting a record deal. Though. And Jungle, Jungle was managing him and, and Jungle was managing Noriega take a at deal. the same no, time. No, no, for sure. And when Nori started blowing up, Nature was jealous of Nori. I'm being real, y'all. I just got to voice it for how it is. I don't condone corniness. Shine in your own light. Nature is a talented brother. I brought him in the studio with Dre. We smoked pounds of hay. Dre loved him. So you know what that means. I don't need Nas no more. I'm better than Nas. I'm just, yo, Nature, you are a talented brother, man. And you've been through a lot. And it's time to erase all of that. And if you're going to rep QB and rep, rep yourself, you don't have to use your Nas name and make a record called We Ain't Friends No More. The Dolby. You know what I'm saying? Nature is a talented brother. Carmega is a talented brother. And Prodigy, come on, man. Prodigy's a veteran. And I, it was times when Mega would hate on Prodigy. I understand what you're saying. So that ain't real. Let's, if we're going to be real with each other, let's be real with each other, man. So I guess the best thing that's going to come out of this is... Everyone's been real. You can be real. Yo, about be how you all feel. open. And, now we can and Mega forward. Prodigy or Nature might think I'm wrong. They have the right to their opinion. I can't see where I'm wrong. You know what I'm saying? But that's why the song says, "It's sad what this do to me." But Queensbridge, we gotta have unity. So this is a, this is dedicated to my hood because there's too many real dudes in Queensbridge that's not trying to hear hear the corniness. So we gotta rep our people right. We repping for people like Ill Will. Ill Will. He was too real. You know what I'm saying? We repping for, he body slammed Mega when Mega was shot in his leg and said, and didn't apologize for it. You know what I'm saying? And Mega and him were people. We were all family. I say something funny about we, it. In the, in the, uh, and then he said something he crazy. Like it didn't make no sense. But yo, check it out. And you got to give love for Spanky. You got to give love for Bar Kim. Rest in peace. Those are, those are our dogs. At the end of the day, Mega we supposed to be. from QB. We supposed to be from the. Front, but he came out there on the strength of Oogie and with Karinga. His, with his cousins, you know what I'm saying? And, and we got love because we from the same block. And we grew up together, yo. And we can't show love. How are we going to fight the enemy? Whether it be the president, whether it be this guy, that guy. How are we going to fight the enemy when we calling each other enemies? Correct. I love them brothers. Or I wouldn't even talk about this, man. It hurts me to my heart. Yeah. I love you, Cormega. I love you, Prodigy. And I love you, Nature. Yeah. But I, it took me this long to vent, and excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, people, thugs and gangsters, women, children, if you're listening, but I had to come from the heart and be real this one time. Hot Destroy and rebuild. Hot 97, blazing hip-hop and R&B, still Matic in stores. Yeah, don't right be jealous. Still Matic.